Hello everyone and welcome to your second royal reading of today here at Mad World Tarot. I still have the Gilded Tarot on the tarot table for this reading uh, but we've left the law courts in London and we're back in Montecito and we're hearing troubling things uh, as per The Sun, an article in The Sun newspaper which popped up just before I started doing my readings today. It's a bit of a spiteful little article, uh, in my opinion, and it tells us that Harry spent the night of his 40th birthday with friends, not with Meghan, even though she booked the hiking trip. Uh, we assume the friend was Baldy Guy, the, um, the bodyguard. And then it goes on to tell us uh, that Harry has been away for all these events and long time no see back in Montecito. Meanwhile, Megan has spent a long, long time this year away from Montecito, extended periods away. And while she's away, Harry has been seen moping around by himself at a local cafe. Rather pathetic sight, you can imagine sort of drooping over a table because mummy is away wherever in Malibu, I don't know where she is. Anyway, and it goes on to tell us as if that's not bad enough, spent his 40th birthday away from her, even though she lovingly booked the trip and he's moping around, tells us that they're also disagreeing about various things. And the things being, first of all, Harry's court case, the security case, Megan is fed up with it, rather frustrated about it. And then also attitude to kids. Harry wants them kept private, doesn't want them photographed in public. Megan thinks that they should be allowed to attend local events. And I would say that that is code for uh, be seen out and about so that backgrid can pack them. That's my opinion, of course. So we're going to ask the Gilded Tarot about life in the Gilded Cage in Montecito. I'm going to ask about the court cases, their various attitudes. I'm going to do a compare and contrast reading. A little compare and contrast reading. Security case, Harry on the one side. Megan, is she really fed up with it? And uh, well, she looks like he's probably going to lose. A big fat waste of time and money. Um, then the kids. Attitude to kids that we never see. And obviously it's Harry has really put his foot down about that and then attitude to each other right now because this as I say rather poisonous little piece sounded like a bit of a precursor to some sort of separation we know they've separated their brands is this a precursor to a separation if so who's going to be the one that pulls the plug on the whole thing publicly I'm sure behind the scenes the plug was pulled a long time ago not the hair plugs although the hair plugs also seem to be have to have been pulled a long time ago my opinion let's remind you it is just tarot for fun and entertainment it is all my opinion I think we're good to go oh yes we are all my opinion all speculation just read energy and disclaimer in the box below harry on the left megan on the right court case kids view of each other right now the separate lives that they're leading so tragically seemingly and then who if the end is nigh who is going to be the one that pulls the plug that's what we're asking that is the, the answer there and we got the Queen of Pentacles. She's showing up a lot, interestingly. Our Queen of Wands is trying to turn into a Queen of Pentacles. And our Queen of Pentacles, as she's now portraying herself, is the one who was so kindly and generously booked that boys weekend, that hiking trip, and let Harry off on his own with his bestie, baldy guy. Um, so that's Queen of Pentacles, generous, supportive, grounded, stable, the good wife. And um, of course was the one who's been away. Probably we meant to read into that, that she was in Hollywood doing, you know, filming and putting deals together while Harry was moping at a cafe. And uh, she's the one who's being practical and sensible. And we need to get the children out and let them attend local events where back rib, back rib, back 
grid uh, would just happen to be by accident. Who knew? My opinion. Let's see. Situation. What is going on? What is going on? And we have, I can't read it. Oh dear. Harry is in reverse. The matching pair, the king and queen of pentacles. But our king of pentacles is in reverse. Our king of pentacles is the one who's unstable, who's moping at the table at the cafe, um, who is not around, who abandoned the queen of pentacles and went off on his own on his 40th birthday and is now all over the world doing many things but not being a good husband. It's the good husband, it's in reverse. She's putting it on him, in my opinion. A bit of a clap back. Who would have suspected that that would happen while Harry was have off on his big adventure and um, showing all of us what a statesman he is and a humanitarian and a thought leader. Let's look at the thought leader and see what he thinks about his court case. The security one now, we looked at the other one in the previous reading. The Hierophant, this must happen because he's a, a member of the royal family, the Hierophant. It's his right, his divine right as a member of the royal family. I'm feeling quite incensed as I'm saying this, not because I'm incensed, but because he is. Um, even some foot stamping about this. I'm a member of the royal family. And this is my right. It doesn't matter that I quit on them and went to live in California and wrote horrible books and made horrible documentaries and whatever else I did. I'm right. I'm a member of the royal family. I'm in the hierarchy. I'm fifth in line and I deserve this. It's mine. Megan. Megan. There it is, fed up with the fighting. It's pointless. You go on and on and on about this. Who cares? I'm never going back to the UK. I don't care. I'm over it. Get over it. Uh, it's pointless brawling. The five of wands is, is always a waste of energy because you fight and you fight and you fight and you fight with people you shouldn't be fighting with. He's fighting with his family. He's fighting with the government. He's fighting with... Um, people who worked with him it's just silly and she sees that it's silly I think she has enough awareness um, about how poorly this is being received to know that it's actually a waste of time I don't think she has much awareness about her own mis um, misguided behavior that's my personal opinion of course but she can see his mistakes for what it is a mistake so let's look at the kids and I'm going to use the word exploit because that's how it feels to me. Letting them out to attend local events, letting them out sounds so harsh. It sounds as if they're kept at home under lock and key. Perhaps in a dark cupboard. Who knows what happens to them? I'm being so snarky. I don't imagine for one second that there is any form of child abuse in that home. I'm sure they are treated wonderfully and let out for fresh air for an hour a day. Okay, um... That's just snark. Uh, Harry and the kids' attitude to them. They must have a perfect childhood. Six of cups, he wants him to be happy, and that's fair enough. I uh, can't criticize that. He wants him to be blissfully happy, sheltered, protected, uh, playing, innocent, um, unharmed by the awful photographers waiting outside the gates every time you have to go to school. Understandable given what happened to him. I completely understand it. I have no criticism of that. I have no snark to offer there. Despite the abundant snark in this reading so far, I get it. Megan. Megan who wants them out. We got the hermit. It's odd, it's Harry. And that the hermit is isolate energy. Retire from the world energy. That's what hermits do. They live on their own. Harry is the obstacle to her, to how she would like to be running this situation. And he is an absolute block because he's shown up now in his power, in his major arcana. Here he is, King of Pentacles, in reverse in his shadow aspect, weakened, unstable, pathetic. She's trying to paint him as that. But when it comes to protecting the children, we have him. I want them to have their, their childhoods. I don't want them to be troubled like I was troubled. And she is running up against this absolute block of this hermit. Keep them private. Keep them hidden. 
So for all of us who wonder where the Invisikids are and speculate, do they live with them? What is going on? This reading is telling me that they are being kept out of the public eye because Harry wants it that way. And so that's what's coming through in this reading. Okay, doesn't tell me where they are. They could be anywhere in the world, together or separately. It just tells me Harry does not want them out in public. Very emphatically so. Let's have a look at their view of each other. Harry's view of Meghan right now. What does he think of her? Eight of swords. She's a trap. <laughs> He's stuck. How does he escape the claw? The long arm of the claw. How does he free himself from this terrible, terrible trap that he walked into unwittingly and then it went clang around him? She, what does she think of him? And we have the Emperor in reverse. Useless waste of space. We've got another male energy who is, it's a bit Prince William that, isn't it? Uh, that face, if you look at it with, as I do with sort of myopia. Um, and the wrong glasses, I've just realized. So, um, the emperor in reverse is male energy, archetypal male energy in reverse. The boss in reverse, you aren't William, comes to mind when I look at that card. You're no Prince William. Uh, you're hopeless. You're disorganized, you're chaotic, you can't do anything. Why did I marry you? All of that stuff is in there. So this is not love. He thinks he's in a trap. How is he going to free himself from it, wriggle out of there? Uh, it's a bit of a butterfly pinned on a board, horrible energy. Sorry, what were those books about? Um, the woman who collected butterflies, I can't remember. American books. Um, going back to my childhood now. The emperor in reverse, she's over it. So who's going to pull the plug if anyone decides that they are so over it that they have to go to the lawyers? Who's going to do it? Uh, does chop and change? Who's the one? Ooh, we've got the two cups. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Can't do it. Going to have to plow on with this illusion of happy, happy, happy couple for a while longer. I'm, it's odd I'm getting from that uh, Two of Cups is sort of pistols at dawn energy, which you wouldn't expect with the Two of Cups, but it's like, who's going to blink first? <laughs> and it is quite amusing um, that they are at the stalemate, I feel, now, where there's too much at stake right now for both of them. They're both in such a precarious position. She's toast in Hollywood. She's ruined. Uh, needs the money. Uh, got to be able to have access to the kids. If the kids go off to the UK with him, what does she have? And he is trying to uh, pre present himself as a statesman, as somebody who makes good decisions, a wise leader. Can't present himself as that if, oh, I made a terrible mistake and married that you know what, fill in rude word of choice there. They're stuck for the time being. As I say, this energy chops and changes. That's where we are today. We could be anywhere tomorrow, somewhere else completely. <clears throat> but no love lost as I lose my voice. And so thank you and I'll see you again tomorrow.